So, hello and welcome to a quick overview of Table Edit, in particular focused on the new features in version 2.5. So here we can see the Table Edit uh, visual. It's very simple to configure. You just put in the Actaris database name and the base URL that's typically when you're using the cloud version always the same. And then you get a list of all the tables in that database that you're allowed to edit. In the visual you have then a lot of editing options so you can use just a normal uh, simple um, free text editing or you can use linked columns for example here by product line i can see here this is not a free text entry but this is a linked column that you have defined in the character table dimension table and here you cannot choose directly only from these items um, you have then a variety of other options, so you can have pictures. Um, this is defined by setting a column as the picture column, so you specify what columns contain pictures, just referring to the column name, and then you have a link here in your database table that will be automatically rendered as a, as a picture. So you can see we're already using here the column name references. This is now what we're doing in all the options. We're always referring to the column name, not to the column number anymore. This used to be cumbersome because you had to count columns and this created trouble when you switch between tables. So now it's always per the column name, the reference so for anything that you define here. So for example, if you want to hide a column, for example, if I don't want to show the all column to my users, just put in the name of that uh, column and the system will then automatically hide that. So now you see the old column is gone. If I want to have it again, I just take this back. Um, same for locking columns. So these are other options that you have. Um, if you don't want users to edit something, you just put in the name of the column. So you saw this before in size range. Um, here I can't edit anything because that is locked. If I take this away, then I would have the option to edit here as well. Required columns means that you have uh, users have to fill in these columns. If they add a new column, they have to uh, put something into that column. We have in version 2 also a new uh, option how to handle a pager. So you can either always show it or you can um, always hide it or it can be automatic. This is helpful. In some cases you want to use table edit as a button and then it's helpful to have as little items here as possible. So the rest here is you know, formatting, you know, how errors are handled, and you know, all the formatting, background color, fonts and so on, text sizes, um, if you want to have this a bit smaller. And then in version 2 we have a big new thing with the notes column. So you have the option now in version 2 to define a column or multiple columns as note columns. And when you have done this, like for example I've done it for the English description, when you click on this, you have now the option to edit here. And you have the option now to also format this. So if you want to have this for example in bold, you can put this in and then this is automatically uh, formatted as bold. So you can see the HTML strings that are stored in the table. And so you have automatically formatted text that you can very easily edit in this in this dialog box here. Um, you can either turn this formatting on or off. In some cases if you just want text here then it might be a little bit um, better to have first just on text so that you don't have the HTML text that you would see when you look at the at the, at the table view. And then you have the option for picture handling, you know, how big the pictures are, what columns contains pictures, and then also how you handle date format. So just quickly with that as well, so this is just another uh, validation. So if you, you've defined in, in a carrier a column as a date, then it will automatically give you the date picker so that you can easily enter these numbers. And you also have um, the option for icon sets, which is in the end just a link dimension where you use Unicode characters that is fully supported in Actaris. And then we also have um, tick boxes here in this table. I don't have tick boxes that's supported as well. If it's the column specified as a binary column, then you have a tick box here that you can turn on and off. 
You also have the option to use HTML clickable links and the only thing you have to do is you use a column that has uh, HTML links, URLs and then you just specify the column that contains these links um, in the URL columns uh, property and then if you click that you will jump to this particular web page. Another um, major new thing in a Keras table edit is the option to copy records, so saving a lot of work, so just select uh, the record that you want, click on copy, put in uh, the name, that, that is always unique, and then just change the entries as you need them. So this saves you a lot of work when you have to work with similar records ongoingly and need to duplicate them. The table edit comes in few modes, but you've just seen the script mode where you can edit as many items as you want. If you just want to do this on a row per row basis, you can switch to row mode and then you can only edit a single row. If you use form mode, then the editing experience changes a little bit. If, if you edit um, a row, it switches to a form mode. So which as opposed to showing it all horizontally, you have the form here that also includes the, um, the English description for the formatted um, long form content that you can now handle in tags as well. You have the links, you have the status items, all the things with um, the selectors, the validations are all supported in the form mode as well. So. The final thing is all the items here you can configure, you can also allow for users um, if they should see, for example, um, the option to add new records, if they are allowed to delete records, and um, also all the filtering options. So, as you probably know, if I switch here back to grid mode, which is typically the most useful one, um, you have the option to, to click um, sort things. You can. Uh, filter things very easily with filter boxes um, and you can also do batch operations so you can say for example I want to put the, star the standard cost for all the shown records to a particular number so I could say here if I click this then it would set all the standard cost to 100 for the shown record so you normally would use this filter uh, where you want to do these batch updates and then with this operation it would apply this batch update to all the filtered rows in your table. In version 2.0 we've also extended the option how many records you can have um, in table edits and you can see this goes now up to a thousand records um, per per page. So this means you can show tens of thousands of potentially even millions of rows in one table edit visual. Um, you have a thousand records per page so you can switch them between these pages. So this concludes this quick demonstration of table edit. As usual if you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact us um, or support team.